South Louisiana has no shortage of fishing traditions, and the Ride the Bull Kayak Fishing Rodeo held each summer in Grand Isle has earned its recognition as a worldwide fishing tradition. According to founder Captain Danny Ray, the best way to describe the event would be... Kind of like Sturgis for, for kayaks. First came up with the idea, we were worried nobody show up. First year, 75. And then it just kind of blew up after year three. And just as Sturgis, South Dakota annually attracts motorcyclists from around the world, so does Ride the Bull. Jacob Scott from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Lucas Stewart, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Paul Bailey from New Zealand. I wanted to go on a legendary sleigh ride on a bull rig. Well, we're here at Ride the Bull down in Grand Isle in Kaminata Pass. We've got over 630 people fishing a day, and you're about to see what 630 kayaks looks like leaving a marina. Landing these massive bull reds from a kayak is quite the challenge. It's been well documented that anyone who enters has a chance to win. But what does it take to be crowned a Ride the Bull champion? It was the year 2014 when Ride the Bull earned the official title as the world's largest kayak fishing rodeo. In a field of 731 anglers, Callie Leroy finished atop the list when she landed a 26-pound redfish. This female angler gleamed with excitement, not just because she beat all of the guys, but also because she did it on an unconventional fishing vessel. Uh, I use a Yolo Fisher board. They're very stable. They weigh 35 pounds. They're, um, they're 12 foot long, 35 inches wide. They're amazing for anyone of any age. They, I, I know that we've had a lot of skeptics saying, you know, oh, those aren't stable enough. I'm not getting on that. Or, oh, I'm too old. I'll fall off of it. But after I reeled my fish in off of it, I had those exact same men telling me, it looks like you might have just sold some paddle boards. News of a female Ride the Bull champion opened the doors for many more women to sign up the following year. Jamie Kluot and her husband were fishing out of a canoe during the Ride the Bull 6, and after no luck for most of the day, they decided to take a break at the marina for lunch. Determined to give it one more try, they paddled out to the pass where she landed a 39-pound bull red in the final hour of the competition. This has been my favorite weekend of the year for the last four years. My brother introduced us to this tournament. He's been here five years now. And um, this has just been so much fun. I enjoy every year I come here. And next to my wedding day and the birth of my children, this has been the coolest day of my life. In 2016, it was then that a 16-year-old kayak angler emerged as the champion when he landed this massive bull red. Even as a youth angler, Brock Miller was an avid kayak fisherman and used his knowledge of red fishing to handle his winning fish like a pro. But Ride the Bull Championships are not limited to the experienced kayak fishermen. Mostly because it's a simple format. Everybody's kind of squared up, no cheating. Everybody's together. Makes everything a common denominator. You fish in the same area, got the same opportunity. It was the next year when a first-time kayak fisherman finished first place landing a giant bull while fishing on a borrowed kayak. I borrowed a kayak and came down with them. Uh, it's both of our first times doing it, and we always heard that, you know, you have, there's a little bit of luck involved. I caught it early on in the morning. I had no idea that I was in the lead until lunchtime, and I'd been in the lead for three hours. I had no idea it was 36 pounds. I thought it was in the 20s. So when, when Jacob came up to me and said, man, you're in the lead, I was blown away. I, I, I didn't think I was in the top 10. 
The success of Ride the Bull has been illustrated by the anglers who have made the competition an annual tradition of their own. The 2018 champion was no stranger to fishing this event. So this was my fourth or fifth. I placed uh, second place uh, at Ride the Bull 6. Held first place all day till she knocked me down. So I really wanted this one real bad. What's more to this story is that Ricky was not alone in landing his winning redfish. Fishing out of a tandem kayak, he and his brother-in-law, Dustin Adams, both hooked on to bull reds at the exact same time. Those two fish would finish first and second place on the leaderboard. He hooked up, bro, and I said, I, I, I seen my line going out, bro, and I said, man, brother-in-law got tangled up in my line, he's about to be pissed. So I started reeling in my line, bro, I said, oh, wait, brother-in-law, we hooked up, bro, we got it. He said, we're going we're gonna to place first and second. It's been for months we've been talking about this. So we finally rented a PA-17 for Pack and Paddle and uh, went out together, uh, got hooked up together, fought the fish together, and uh, that was just awesome. When it comes to the annual Ride the Bull Kayak Fishing Rodeo, it is true what they say. Anyone has a chance to win. So when next summer approaches, make sure to sign up and participate in this one-of-a-kind event. You know, Ride the Bull was started by Danny and uh, the late Kristen Ray. Uh, Danny being a guide from down here in Grand Isle, they created a monster. And uh, unfortunately, after she passed away, uh, he asked for some help and CCA um, stepped in, mainly because our volunteers, including myself, I've been Waymaster before. I've been a chase boat for five or six years, uh, and we have a lot of involvement. And so our, our board basically just said, we got to figure out how to carry on the, the tradition, and here we are. You know, if you don't catch a fish, chances are you'll have to paddle out of the way of somebody that is catching one. So it's fun. Will you have what it takes to be crowned Ride the Bull champion? We'll just have to wait and see.